now available from Polygram Video. NFL's Feel the Power puts you in the middle of the action and unveils the hidden power of the NFL's elite. The NFL's Greatest Games delivers the play-by-play -play power of resilience in two volumes, the Ice Bowl and Super Bowl III. With NFL's Greatest Moments, you'll catch the most powerful images of pro football. Throws his pass, caught by Clark! It's caught out of the air by Frank O'Harris! Coach Shulin has won number 325. Experience the power of laughter with NFL <laughs> talking <and> Follies. <laughs> Okay, throw a fake ball and keep the real ball in your shirt. You can't use more than one ball. Mom! NFL Throwbacks brings you the power of tradition and links future stars with heroes from the past. Lock and load, baby! Lock and load! Collect your favorite teams and witness the power of teamwork with the NFL official video yearbooks. Collect them all and feel the power of NFL films on home video. New Edge Pro Gel, official sponsor of NFL Team Highlight Films. Edge Pro Gel will give you a shave so comfortable that no other gel or foam can beat it. For a great, comfortable shave every day, try New Edge Pro Gel. Save your skin. September 1st, 1996 was a day of remembrance and renewal. After 13 years of silent Sundays, Baltimore celebrated the return of the NFL and the birth of the Baltimore Ravens. Hi everybody and welcome to Memorial Stadium, a historic afternoon here in Baltimore as the old girl is back in town. Yes, it's been since December of 83 that a Baltimore team has played pro football here at Memorial Stadium. And this afternoon, the Baltimore Ravens, coached by Ted Marcher Broda, former head coach of the Baltimore Colts, open up a new chapter of Baltimore football history against the Oakland Raiders. It began with a tribute to some of Baltimore's greatest players, including Johnny Unitas, who took a familiar trip through the end zone to usher in a new era. Over 64,000 Baltimore football fans packed a sold-out Memorial Stadium to honor a great legacy and start a tradition of their own. Let's go, baby, let's go! In a season of few victories and several close defeats, the one thing the Ravens never lost was their intensity. That's the way to do it. Fires down the middle. Kitchen's got it. Yeah. Feels some pressure. Flips over the middle. After 13 long years without the NFL, Baltimore is back. of the largest crowd in Baltimore's professional sports history. The Ravens began their inaugural season against the Oakland Raiders. On third and six, with less than a minute remaining in the first quarter, Vinny Testaverde became the first player in Raven history to find the end zone. Testaverde becomes a runner, not a passer, and the Ravens are on the scoreboard. 
But it was the defense that ruled the second half. Go, D, rock and roll, D. Let's go, baby. Rookie linebacker Ray Lewis inspired a second half charge that kept Oakland trapped behind midfield for the rest of the game. Now here comes a reverse. Oh, oh. And down he goes. Wow. First and ten, Raven showing blitz. Set, 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 boom! The Raven offense switched to the no huddle in the third quarter and surged within one point of Oakland, setting up a dramatic fourth quarter drive. Hey, take it in there now! Take it in! Testaverde hands it off to Biner. He's in for the touchdown. And the Ravens have won their inaugural game at Memorial Stadium. The Baltimore fans on their feet. And ain't it great to be undefeated? Oh, man. Undefeated and one of the most exciting games to come back here to Baltimore. Just a second, just a second. Now listen, great job. Remember we said at the beginning of the year, the conditioning would pay off, the damn work paid off, and it certainly did the day you won in the second half. We're a second half ball club. You kept your poise throughout the entire ball game. We didn't lose it when things got tough. Now again, game balls for everybody. This is the first victory for the yeah. Ravens. With an opening day victory still fresh in their minds, the Ravens travel to Pittsburgh to play the defending AFC champion. For Ted Marchabroda, Three Rivers Stadium would be another proving ground for his untested team. Sets has time, now starts to run up the middle. He's at the five, following a blocker. Touchdown, Vinny Testaverde. Despite Testaverde's scoring run, and Derek Alexander's touchdown catch, the Steelers built a 14-point lead. Defensive end Rob Burnett forced a fumble in a bid to reverse the game's momentum. But midway through the fourth quarter, any chance for a comeback was lost on first and goal. And now the Ravens are really in trouble. As time expired, the Ravens' thoughts turned to their next AFC division rival. In Houston, once again, turnovers would prove too costly to overcome. But the sting of defeat was magnified by the Ravens' losses to injury. Starting defensive lineman Anthony Pleasant, Dan Footman, and Rob Burnett would play a grand total of one play together. The first play of opening day. Injuries would continue to plague the Ravens' defense for an entire season, afflicting the front line early and reaching the linebacking core by mid-season. But injury failed to sideline their fierce determination and a never-say-quit mentality. <laughs> Before suffering a season-ending injury, Rob Burnett was a solid starter on the defensive line, along with Dan Footman and Anthony Pleasant. Defensive tackles Tim Goad and James Jones completed the line, along with defensive end Mike Frederick. The secondary featured cornerback Antonio Langham, and unveiled a new talent in rookie Deron Jenkins. The injuries on the depleted front line put extra pressure on the Ravens secondary, which fought hard to overcome their additional burden. At linebacker, Gerald Williams was a source of motivation and wisdom for number 52, rookie Ray Lewis. Come on, Ray, talk to him, baby! Lewis was put in charge of calling the defense from the first day of training camp and led his team in tackles for the season. The team's leading sacker, Mike Caldwell, scored the Ravens' first ever defensive touchdown, 
on a play that personified Baltimore's never quit attitude. Intercepted by the Ravens, Mike Caldwell, touchdown Ravens! After throwing three interceptions in Houston, Vinny Testaverde promised his team and himself there would be no repeat performance. In week five against New Orleans, Testaverde reinforced his oath with a touchdown pass to Derek Alexander. 30, 20, he took the line, and touchdown Derek Alexander. But the Ravens would run away with victory that day on the ageless legs of Ernest Biner, who recorded his 20th career 100-yard game and carried his team on their game-winning drive. There we go. Third and goal from the six. Game tied. Testaverde looking near side. Fires back to the end zone. Michael Jackson. Touchdown. Jackson went sky high and pulled it down. And the fans are going Raven wild. The following week, the Ravens hosted the eventual AFC champions. And although the margin of victory would hinge on a blocked punt, the Ravens rallied to produce 24 fourth quarter points in the highest scoring game in the NFL since 1991. Vinny Testaverde produced his first 300-yard game of the season, and the home crowd witnessed the birth of one of the league's most dangerous receiver tandems. Michael Jackson and Derek Alexander became the fourth pair of receivers from the same team to eclipse the 1,000-yard mark. Testaverde drops back, has time in the pocket, throwing in the end zone. Touchdown, Derek Alexander! Derek Alexander put a forgettable sophomore year far behind him and joined forces with Michael Jackson to form the best touchdown receiving duo in the NFL. First pass of the game, steps back in the pocket, plenty of time, he's going deep for Jackson. Michael's got it, 30 yard line, 20, 10, 5, touchdown Ravens! Michael Jackson led the NFL with 14 touchdown receptions, thanks in large part to Vinny Testaverde who produced the best season of his 10-year career. Vinny to throw, short drop, steps up, throws in the end zone, touchdown! Floyd Turner lost the handle, but he was in, and he has his first touchdown as a Raven. Against Denver, Testa Verde was simply on fire. I ain't never seen a quarterback as hot as he is right now yeah, that's in right. my life. No, that, right. I ain't never seen I mean, he's at five yards. But we can put that out. Despite a loss to the Broncos, Testaverde produced a career day against the number one defense in the AFC. It was a testament to a man who had more than one way of finding the end zone. Gets away from a couple, now he's running 25, 30, still has the football, takes another hit. <laughs> Vinny Testaverde put his life on the line. Although Vinny became one of eight quarterbacks in NFL history to throw for over 4,000 yards in a single season, it could be argued that Vinny was equally entertaining on the ground. Testaverde with some Lenny Moore type moves. I was going to say, Vinny Chuck, uh, juking and, and throwing fakes. And, is that Vinny Testaverde? Testaverde flourished behind offensive linemen like top pick Jonathan Ogden, who started the entire season and finished with all pro honors. Ogden was joined by the versatility of Wally Williams and the leadership of offensive captain Orlando Brown. With Jeff Blackshear at right guard, the offensive line formed the backbone of the number three rated offense in the NFL. 
But no member of the Raven offense was better prepared than Ernest Biner. As a 12-year veteran, Biner bolstered the Raven backfield and became a source of maturity, wisdom, and leadership for the rest of his team. In September, Marchabrota signed a more bruising prospect for his one-back system in the form of Bam Morris. Morris was a 250-pound battering ram who started the final seven games of the season and in that span led the AFC in rushing. to be a dynamic addition to an already powerful offense. After a shootout in Mile High Stadium, the Ravens returned home in week nine, searching for victory against the Rams. Testaverde throws deep over the middle, it's coming inside the tank. Floyd Turner, five out of the tackle, touchdown Ravens! Despite Floyd Turner's touchdown, the Ravens were forced to battle from a 20 to 6 deficit. Second down and goal from the three. Moore's throw set back. Three wide receivers. Moore straight ahead. Touchdown! Bam Morris right up the middle. Back to throw. Throwing over the middle. barreled into the end zone a second time to set up one of the most exciting finales of the season. Touchdown, Bay Morris! As he balls his way into the end zone for his second touchdown of the game. A missed opportunity to win in regulation would lead to Vinny Testaverde's moment of truth in overtime. Vinny back to throw. In the pocket, steps up, throwing in the end zone for Jackson. He's out! Yes! <laughs> Ravens win! Michael Jackson as Vinny Testaverde throws his third touchdown of the game in a wild, wild football game. And the Ravens win it 37-31. The Ravens held second half leads in 10 of their final 11 games. Although they found victory only twice, their games were battles to the very end. Win it! In week 10, the offensive line neutralized Dan Wilkinson and helped build an early lead, but victory would slip from the Ravens' grasp. In week 11, Bam Morris made his first start as a Raven and rumbled for 182 yards from scrimmage, only to have a Jacksonville victory steal his thunder. The following week in San Francisco, an injured Testaverde was replaced by Eric Zier, who delivered the Ravens' first lead of the second half. Zier sets up wide open. But the Ravens' early lead would prove to be short-lived once again. On a bleak December day in Cincinnati, the Ravens prepared themselves for another fourth quarter battle. After a scoreless beginning, Testaverde found rookie wide receiver Jermaine Lewis and tight end Brian Kinchin to set the stage for a dramatic fourth quarter drive. Down by seven, with time running out, 
the Ravens tried to blast their way into the end zone. After three failed attempts, the Ravens were left with one final chance. Pass to Rudy, play action fake, wants to throw for it, throws, it's caught, they stopped him. Short of the end zone, the Bengals have stopped the Ravens. The loss typified a season where the promise of victory was often replaced by the pain of defeat. Playoff hopes had already washed away, but in December, the Ravens took their frustration out on the playoff-bound Steelers. Jermaine Lewis set up the first touchdown of the day with a 47-yard punt return to the one-yard line. Celebrating his first ever touchdown, Ogden went back to work, creating holes for Bam Morris. Testaverde threw his second touchdown to Derek Alexander, who surpassed the 1,000-yard mark for the first time in his career and gave Baltimore a lead that it would never relinquish. Ernest Biner and Matt Stover added to the lead, but it was up to the defense to protect it. The same defense that allowed two fourth quarter touchdowns in four straight games held Pittsburgh to a scoreless fourth quarter. And the Ravens sealed their victory with a final touchdown to Eric Green. Long count, back to throw. Over the middle, touchdown, Eric Green! Three weeks after the biggest win of the season, the Ravens took the field one last time against the Houston Oilers. Fake the band, then he pump fakes. Now he's going deep for Jackson. He's got it. 45, midfield, 40, 30, 25. He's going to go all the way. Michael Jackson, touchdown. Before the end of the day, Michael Jackson had three touchdowns, and Vinny Testaverde had fulfilled an oath he had made in September. Throw the fade to Michael Jackson, touchdown. Despite their loss and their 4 and 12 season, the Baltimore fans waited to thank the players and applaud their determination, knowing this team had accomplished far more than their record revealed. Ted Marchabroda and quarterback coach Don Strock helped Vinny Testaverde to his first Pro Bowl in 10 years. Jonathan Ogden received all pro honors, and Michael Jackson and Derek Alexander finished with career seasons. This new team remained competitive from day one and found a way to transform injury into opportunity. Throwing deep into the end zone, it is intercepted. Ray Lewis has the football. Rookie Ray Lewis stepped forward to anchor the Raven defense and showcase his star potential while Antonio Langham took his game to a higher level in the season's second half. Bam Morris took advantage of a new opportunity and became the running back of the future. Joining the roster in 97 is proven veteran offensive lineman Leo Goaz, while the defense upgrades the pass rush with Michael McCrary, the AFC's leading sacker in 1996. This 
is the story of the Baltimore Ravens, a team that is poised to open a new chapter and build a winning tradition. Now that Baltimore is back. New Edge Pro Gel presents the Baltimore Ravens Ultimate Performance of 1996. Baltimore's Week 14 triumph over the Pittsburgh Steelers was their most impressive performance of the season. Wide receiver Derek Alexander caught seven passes for 198 yards and a touchdown. Quarterback Vinny Testaverde threw three touchdowns on the day as the Ravens whipped the Steelers 31 to 17.